Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Tato, back again with the recipes that make you wanna cook. On today's video, let's make this vibrant and delicious savory rice recipe. <music> Let's get started guys and as usual I will leave all the ingredients in the description box down below. I'm gonna get started by cooking my rice. I did pre-wash and soak the rice for about 30 to 45 minutes. It really does help to get out the starch as much as possible so that your rice is not sticky. Then the other thing is to toast your rice just before you add your water. Once you see that your rice is fluffy and dry like that, which means it's nicely toasted, you're gonna go ahead and add your hot water. I like adding hot water into my rice because I feel like it quickens the process of cooking the rice and I had more success rate of cooking with hot rice than cold. So that's just how I do it. I also don't close my pot so that the moisture can run out as um, quickly as possible and after about 20 to 25 minutes this is how my rice is looking it's nicely cooked I think it maybe took about 15 to 20 minutes to be honest <laughs> so yeah now once your rice is cooked you're gonna go ahead and set it aside and let it cool down completely in a pan you're gonna go ahead and add your oil and your vegetables which are your red onion some diced carrots and some diced yellow bell pepper you're gonna go ahead that and give that a stir and saute that for another two to three minutes okay now once you have sauteed your onions and peppers and carrots you're gonna go ahead close the pot because the carrots are a bit tough you want to steam them for about five minutes four to five minutes just so that they become a little bit soft after that you're gonna go ahead and give them a test and see if they are soft enough for you for me i was going for soft to firm and not overly um you know soft <laughs> and then i'm gonna go ahead and add my chopped um fresh garlic and add it in there i know there's a lot of controversies about people that add um fresh garlic when cooking rice but i i like it you know they say that it makes the rice go stale way quicker but i don't really think that um yeah then to season i'm gonna go ahead and add a whole sachet of curry powder now for this curry powder you can only substitute that for turmeric you can always substitute that for spice for rice but i would prefer you substitute for spice for rice because spice for rice has a little bit of flavor other than turmeric which is bland it will need support of other things then you're gonna go ahead and add your green onion seasoning and some oregano and give that a stir okay for the zest you're gonna go ahead and add a half um lemon juice you're gonna just squeeze it in there if you want to take it a notch further you can go up, absolutely add um, some of the lemon zest as well so that is absolutely optional the lemon will complement well with the green onion it's going to give it such fresh breezy flavor if you know what i mean <laughs> then you're gonna go ahead and give that a stir and cook the spices for about five to eight minutes now because we're not gonna cook the rice the spices in any water you want to saute them and fry them just until they release those beautiful umami flavors you know for about five to eight minutes you also don't want to eat raw curry or raw spices then to elevate my rice i'm going to add the nando's peri peri sauce if you don't want your rice spicy you can definitely leave this out but i'd like to know that i'd like to let you know that when you add the um, chili sauce the because you added lemon juice it's going to kind of mellow it out you know just does something lemon just does something to chili flavors it you know they don't pop especially if this they've been sitting for a bit okay then i'm gonna add some of uh, my frozen peas green peas you can absolutely uh, use green bell peppers if you don't want green peas but honey if you don't eat green peas please go up okay grow up <laughs> then you're gonna let your green peas just uh release some of the 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 ice for about one to two minutes you really don't want to overcook them because they're already cooked they just need to release the water and they're very soft then you're gonna add your rice in there and toss it around and give it a toss to combine fully with the vegetables and 
you want to make sure that you keep your stove on low because your rice is cooked you don't want to to become mushy you have cooked it very fluffy like that honey then you want to keep it like that then you're going to toss it around make sure your stove is low and you're going to uh, toast the rice for about two to three minutes you know just so it can gel with the flavors that you have already built and that is the recipe guys i hope you do try it it's a very beautiful beautiful recipe if you've been on the channel for a while you know that i absolutely hate plain rice and i will always find ways to make my rice interesting that's it for now guys and i'll see you on the next one